Over the years, we've done several videos showing you our favorite TV shows on Netflix. This video will be different. Instead, we decided to go through the comments section of prior videos, looking for recommendations from viewers like yourself to find 10 of the most mentioned series you all think are underrated and deserving of more viewers. And of course, if there's a series you think gets overlooked, let us know about it in the comments. Let's get started. Kingdom is perhaps one of the most mentioned in our comments with a loyal following. Premiering in 2019, the South Korean horror thriller has the distinction of being Netflix's first original Korean series. Set in the 16th century, it follows a young crown prince who attempts to investigate a mysterious illness afflicting the king and finds himself caught in the middle of a deadly epidemic overtaking his kingdom. While trying to save his people from the plague, he must also stop his political opponents from seizing the throne. Kingdom is a refreshing take on the zombie landscape and is better than most in the same genre on Netflix, including The Walking Dead. Two seasons are available to watch right now, and Netflix has yet to announce if Kingdom will be coming back for a third season. Travelers is most likely the best science fiction series you've never seen. Premiering in 2016, it takes place hundreds of years in the future and follows special operatives known as Travelers who inhabit seemingly random individuals in present day to save humankind from a terrible future. The acting is excellent with a well-written story that will have you hooked from beginning to end. Its third and final season was released in 2019. All three seasons are available to binge watch on Netflix. When scrolling through the Netflix guide, You is one of those shows you might have skipped because it looks like a cheaply made Hallmark movie or series. Well, you would be mistaken. You is a psychological thriller, which premiered in 2018. It stars Penn Badgley as Joe Goldberg, a bookstore manager who goes to extreme measures to insert himself into the life of the women he becomes obsessed with, using every tool at his disposal, including the internet and social media. You continues to get better and more interesting with each season. Three seasons are available now, and prior to its season three premiere in October of 2021, Netflix had already renewed you for a fourth season. For those of you looking for something a little bit lighter than our first three, Flowers is a British dark comedy drama which premiered its first season in 2016. It stars Julian Barrett and the always outstanding Olivia Colman, who some will recognize from The Crown. The series follows the eccentric members of the Flowers family, the entire cast playing the dysfunctional members of this family are superb. The show runs the full spectrum, from the completely bizarre to extreme sadness. The series concluded with its second season in 2018, and both seasons of Flowers are available to watch right now. If you're into conspiracy theories, Inside Job is a series that might be right up your alley. Premiering in October of 2021, this adult animated science fiction comedy is set in a world where many conspiracy theories are real. The series follows a team at a shadow government organization called Cognito Inc., which attempts to control the world and keep conspiracies a secret. The voice acting and animation are great. If you have any sense of humor at all, you'll enjoy the satirical moments and witty dialogue. Inside Job's first season consists of 20 episodes. Part 1 with 10 episodes is available now, with the remaining 10 coming at a later date. Midnight Mass is a supernatural horror miniseries created and directed by Mike Flanagan. Premiering in September of 2021, the plot is centered on an isolated island community that experiences supernatural events after the arrival of a mysterious priest. Upon performing what seems to be glorious miracles, his arrival brings a renewed interest in religion to a dying town. The slow burn of the show will test your patience, but do stick around to the end as it does become more fast-paced with an ending you'll never forget. Midnight Mass is a seven-episode miniseries, so there are no plans for a second season. Marco Polo is a historical drama that ran for two seasons, premiering in 2014 and ending in 2016. Being the oldest series in this video, its fan base is still extremely loyal. Not a day goes by when we don't see a comment mentioning it. Set in a world of greed and betrayal, Marco Polo follows the famous explorer's adventures, crossing thousands of miles in 13th century Mongolia to the court of Kublai Khan. While the first season is good, season two kicks things up a notch and is considered to be one of the best seasons of any series on Netflix. Being one of the most expensive shows ever produced, with lower than expected viewership that resulted in a $200 million loss, Netflix decided to cancel Marco Polo after the second season. 
Good Girls is a comedy crime drama that ran for four seasons on NBC, premiering in 2018 and concluding in 2021. Set in a suburb of Detroit, Michigan, the series follows three mothers facing financial ruin who orchestrate the unlikely heist of a grocery store. Don't go into this one expecting a masterpiece. Through all of its flaws, of which there are many, it does have likable characters and is highly entertaining. The first three seasons are on Netflix right now, with season four coming soon. Safe is a British thriller miniseries premiering in 2018, created by the famous crime author Harlan Coben. Set in England, the series follows Tom Delaney, played by Michael C. Hall, who's a pediatric surgeon and widowed father of two teenage daughters. After his 16-year-old daughter goes missing, Tom investigates her disappearance and uncovers dark secrets about the people closest to him in his neighborhood. While Michael C. Hall's performance is good, albeit with a horrendous accent, this is a mystery that should please most viewers, except for those still getting over the wounds of the finale of Dexter New Blood. Brand New Cherry Flavor is a horror drama most people overlooked when it was released in August of 2021. It's actually a lot better than the Netflix description would have you believe. Here's how they describe it. A filmmaker heads to Hollywood in the early 90s to make her movie, but tumbles down a hallucinatory rabbit hole of sex, magic, revenge, and kittens. On second thought, that doesn't sound too bad. If you enjoy deeply twisted shows, check it out. Brand New Cherry Flavor is a limited series, so a second season is unlikely to happen. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you to find a new TV show to watch, give it a thumbs up and share with others. What Netflix series do you think is underrated and gets overlooked by most people? Let us know about it in the comments. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and ring the bell for the latest on Netflix and other tech-related stuff here on Tech Combo.